Well, I thought the Cold War was over too, but uh, Vladimir Putin seems to think otherwise. You know, he, during the uh, Cold War, uh, when the Soviet Union, when Russia was, was the driving force behind the Soviet Union, Vladimir Putin was a KGB man. And the KGB was the, of course, Russian security, Russian spy system. And I think, unfortunately, uh, once a KGB, always a KGB. I think Putin goes out of his way to try to poke a finger in the eye of the United States. Uh, look how he's acted in the Snowden affair, giving uh, uh, asylum, temporary asylum to, uh, to Snowden, uh, who's now in, in Russia. Uh, but I do think that the United States and Russia should try and can try to cooperate on many different things. We have shared uh, interests. Uh, we both don't uh, want uh, terrorism to rear its ugly head. Uh, there were recent terrorist attacks in Russia and, of course, the United States since September 11th. We have the same uh, fear. And so I think that uh, there is a lot uh, in common that we can find. Uh, Russia was helpful in trying to put together uh, an agreement in Syria. And uh, Sir uh, Syria now longer, no longer has the weapons of mass destruction um, because of a plan that Russia brokered that the United States signed on to. So I do think that despite our differences, and we should not uh, wash those differences and put them aside, we ought to be cognizant of them. But I think we also need to cooperate with Russia. Where we have uh, similarities, then we need to work together, I think. I think what Secretary Kerry said a few days ago is absolutely correct. I think the United States uh, should provide assistance to the government in Iraq short of any more U.S. troops on the ground. We don't want to go down that path again in Iraq at all. But I do think there are security measures where we can help them with their security and intelligence measures where we can help them with intelligence uh, because we don't want al-Qaeda to get the upper hand. Now, the situation in Iraq uh, as is very complicated as it is in many other countries in the Middle East. And sometimes there are two forces fighting each other that we both don't like either force. But I do think that for long-term stability, um, we would uh, strengthen the government uh, of Iraq, again, short of U.S. troops on the ground. So what the President has said, what Secretary Kerry has said, I think is just right, and I support that approach.